All right, so I got given this Hobart meat saw for free, and uh, it had a three-phase motor in it, which does me no good because I don't have any three-phase power here. So I ripped out the old motor here, and uh, you can see the floor of this thing is kind of rotten. And uh, I went and got myself a, a single-phase motor. Tried to match up the uh, RPMs at least. I actually, I ended up buying a motor and then it didn't have this pulley on it right here. And I went to the junkyard today and I ended up buying that pulley for 20 bucks and it came on this motor. And the motor's actually same RPM and a little bit bigger horsepower and I didn't expect it to work. And uh, we plugged it in and lo and behold, uh, it spun around. One of the things I learned today <coughs> was about the direction of the motor. The problem is the motor was supposed to go on this side and when we did that, it spun in the opposite direction so that the blade would not have been cutting in the right direction, cutting meat. So what we did was we took a grinder and we simply ground out a, a hole there in the wall and then we mount, drilled a couple new holes, marked it, drilled a couple holes and we simply mounted the, uh, the motor on the other side. I had to go and find a shorter belt at the auto parts store and put it on there and uh, it works pretty good now. We tested it on some pieces of wood. Probably shouldn't have done that, uh, but I needed to see if it would work. And uh, if it'll cut through wood, it'll cut through frozen meat or bone, I suspect. So pretty stoked about that. I got it for free and uh, we spent all day messing on it. And um, I think at this point, I feel like uh, it's gonna work good. One of the things uh, that we're gonna do yet is, you can see it just has a plug in there and obviously I don't want to be plugging and unplugging it. So we're just going to mount basically a house light switch or something right here. And uh, just so I can, when I'm cutting, I can just reach down and hit the switch. Is it perfect? No. Um, but it, was it free? Yes. And uh, for a $20 motor and a little bit of labor today, uh, we got this thing working. And so we're going to be putting that here in the, the butcher shop, which is to be finished. And uh, using that to start really cutting up a bunch of meat here. We're going to be building a uh, meat locker down there. We'll show you that process. And uh, finish on the inside of the walls here, making this a sterile environment. And, and uh, I have all the equipment. It just needs to be finished. And with winter coming, it's going to be one of our, one of our projects is getting this, this meat room finished up. So anyways, um, just one of the ways we're staying busy here with winter approaching is messing with this and making this work.